Hey, this is Ra Spoon. These are my thoughts and stories from my blog. Enjoy! Prodigal Son, the Parable for Heaven and Hell We may think of the parable of the sheep and goats as the parable that most closely describes heaven and hell. And that's understandable, because Jesus practically says that. He basically says, When the Son of Man comes, he'll divide people like a shepherd separates sheep and goats. Sheep, come take your inheritance, and goats, go to eternal punishment. He says this to the folks who either helped the poor, the sheep, or didn't help the poor, the goats. Because if they helped or didn't help the poor, they were actually helping or not helping God. Yikes. If you are a Christian who needs the conviction to help the poor, Maybe that parable is exactly what you need to hear today. But if that one just makes you hate God and turn away from Him altogether because it's just too harsh, we may, might not be ready for it yet. Maybe the parable of the prodigal son is a much more compelling picture of heaven and hell for us right now. You know how the prodigal son wastes his dad's inheritance on indulgent living? And after he has spent it all and finds himself low enough that he's eating food with pigs, he crawls back to his dad, totally humbled, ready to beg for his dad, who he shamed, to let him work with his servants. But his dad is so overwhelmed with love and so happy to see that his son has even come home that he runs to him, which wasn't even proper in that culture, and throws him an extravagant party. He says, for my son was lost, but now he is found. What if eating with the pigs is pretty close to what hell looks like? It is the result of following our immediate pleasures. We find ourselves in a place of poverty and not even able to find satisfaction. And what if what we have to do to find heaven is to humble ourselves and crawl back to the Father? I find that this draws me toward heaven very much so. When I think of a God like this Father that is just so happy that I have turned back to him, that he picks up his robes, runs to hug me, and throws a huge party just because I've chosen to come home. That sounds like a pretty good heaven.